Item number two, discuss an act on retirement of K-9 Officer Indy and presentation of a plaque. I'd, I'd like to say it, it is with some sorrow that we're going to retire uh, our K-9 Officer Indy. Uh, Indy is one day away from being 10 years old, which makes you fairly old in dog years. I don't know what the equation is. Uh, don't let his gray muzzle fool you. He's He has all the want to that, that any young dog, he just doesn't physically have the capabilities he used to. And I, I would like to have Buddy talk just a little bit about um, Indy and, and what he's done. And you want to do the flat presentation? Sure. Set. Set. Now look at them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me hold that so you can hold me on here. Oh. All right. Uh, Indy, like Chief Norman said, he uh, turns 10 years old tomorrow. He was imported from Czechoslovakia. He became a member of the department approximately eight years ago. Uh, since I've been handling him, since uh, we became a licensed team in June 29th of 2012, Indy's uh, been instrumental in making over uh, hundreds of drug arrests. Also, instrumental in seizing tens of thousands of dollars of drug money. Uh, some of his biggest accomplishments, uh, approximately a week after we graduated the Handler School together, Andy made a track of a suspect who uh, tried to set his family on fire and took off. And if it wasn't for Indy, we wouldn't have found him because they'd even called the uh, Tulsa bird in, who was using the flare trying to find the guy, but the underbrush was too thick that they couldn't see him. Well, Andy led us right to him. So, he's just been an invaluable asset to the department. For years, we've taken him up to the elementary school. Um, even though he's a 100% working dog, he's one of the most lovable uh, dogs you, you'll ever find that works. Um, we'd bring him up, introduce him to the kids, and, and then let entire grades walk out with him sitting by the door and let them all pet him and I mean he's just been that kind of gentle dog and then the one instance that that uh, Buddy talked about where we tracked where he tracked the guy into the woods um, we never thought we were going to catch that guy when the helicopter with forward-looking infrared can't find him in the underbrush but we know he's there uh, Indy going in and finding him that that made us all proud and, and uh, that's just one of the accomplishments that, that he's made. And he's never filed a grievance against me or <laughs> asked for an increase in pay or anything. Never took a sick day that I know of. So he's been a good employee. He's been a good dog. And uh, we're glad that we have him. So, hey, Steve, what do you go? do with him when you retire? What do you do with him? Um, by state, it's set aside by state statute that is declared surplus by the city then the first person who has um, the opportunity to take him is its last handler. So by statute, um, we request that he be surplus and then given over to his last handler. And then that relieves the city of all liability per statute um, if the last handler takes him. So, and he's, he's ready to retire. He still has a lot of want, but just not a lot of his, his stamina was not what it was. <laughs> 70 years old. Yeah. 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 Yeah.